wrong here. I can't see myself. Now I see myself. What do y'all see? I know you see me. Can you hear me? This is a test. This is a test. I'm running a test to see what is good. So, do I go here? Facebook. So is it here? Let's go on click here and show up. You know, it's funny, I keep seeing this M-A-N and this thing at the top, it's like a little question mark drawing. And I keep thinking it's like this one person, I keep thinking that's a notification telling me that somebody's watching me. And I'm like, every time I go live, this person keeps watching me. So I hover over it, kind of find out it's just, it's me. <laughs> uh, what the fuck? <laughs> Try to pull shit. You know, you don't like, if you don't like... We got the game coming up this weekend, Dallas. We got New York Giants. I got special guests we're coming on. I got we got Kev Dupree coming on with y'all. He going he's going to give the, give the perspective of the Giants fans. Um, Carl's will be on, you know, talking about the Cowboys. I'm gonna be the mo the mediator, moderator, whatever you want to call it. I'm gonna be the man in the middle, laughing at you know. <laughs> hey, listen, I'm gonna be neutral, but. I always kept saying, you know, I have, I, I got like a, a little soft spot for Big Blue, you know what I mean? Because some real thorough people that I associate with from my heart rides out with Big Blue, you know. Now, I got people that, that I love dearly that ride out with Dallas Cowboys too, and they mess with me, and they know who you are, and, you know, I, I just, um, I love you. Cuz, oh, what's up, cuz? Cousin, cousin, cousin Jen just hit me up. I hope y'all um, hit him up today. Thank you for everybody that, if you hit him up and you let him know that you got it all from my site, thank you so very much. He hit me up and let me know that he was all over the place today. 
y'all was getting them orders in let me know in the comments or let me know leave leave something let me know if anybody tried the um the chick the vegan chicken cheese steak i didn't get a chance to try that tomorrow i'm grabbing me a a, a black bean burger for the game but you know it'll be cool and i'm sending this message out now into the into the to you cuzzo imagine if you did the the um you know how like virtuals got the long joint imagine you did one like that like an 18 inch the whole roll yeah yeah do like party trays you, you you get you know you do the whole roll you chop it up the same way that um wawa does it you know what i mean for game time boom two two sandwiches 18 inch rolls chop it up it's enough to feed x amount of people chips or whatever with it you good to go you know what i mean I, I know everybody gonna order them because i know everybody was hitting them up because that thing was whack that shit was delicious oh you still there you can see me oh i, I know it's a little delay but you but guess what just for the simple fact is that you you comment and you interact with me this helps my algorithm believe me trust me this is a test but i just decided to just keep running with it so i'm gonna sit on here and keep seeing who's gonna jump on and i'm gonna keep talking because the longer i'm on here the better it helps my algorithm because the last time that i went and um i did a live that very first time a lot of y'all don't know it, i i got monetized so i got paid for that so every time I, i'm jumping on here and y'all kicking it with me we having fun I'm getting paid, so you know, help me out too. But I know y'all. I know again, you know, Cuzzo, You gotta, um, you gotta get with me though. You said you wanted to call um, earlier. You said you was gonna call me back, but you probably got real busy. But it's like, cause I was detailing my mom's car. That thing, it's it's got the, um, it's like that that dark burgundy. But um, when you buff it, hit it with the buffer and the shine, the tire, detail it. The inside look like the pictures you take when when you go sell a car. Yeah, she. I sent it to her. She hit me back. She's like, "Thank you so much." Yeah, I, I got you. I got you, mom. I'm gonna take care of your car for you. Oh, I got you, son. Got you. But again, what y'all eat for dinner? Other than you know, a, um, a vegan chicken cheese steak or a vegan cheese steak or the world famous. Let's get it out there. I have to continue to remember to say that the world famous black bean burgers. Because again, I'm willing to put some money. I ain't rich or nothing like that. But I'm willing to put some money up. Like if you claim that you had a good black bean burger yeah you may have a good black bean burger but um it, you never had anything like this and this is out to all the people that's going to see this and i have not yet had a yeah you might have had a um you know morning star from you know the supermarket or whatever or you went to you know somewhere in collinswood you know what i mean one of them places and sat down a little dainty little restaurant and got yourself a little healthy little sandwich a black bean burger or whatever Nah, this is the real deal. I'm talking, you can tell, like my wife even said it, when you open up the sandwich, it's just for all the sandwiches, you can tell this is not manufactured somewhere except at, at their spot because the, the patties is, is, you can see the patties made, you can see the ingredients, you can taste it, you can open it, you can see it. And I, I, I can confess to all the parents out there, you know, you know, single fathers that have the kids that, that don't, you know, don't, they're picky eaters, especially your sons, you know, my son is crazy like that. He don't he don't really eat a lot. He don't eat eggs and all this other stuff. But you know, if he he really don't like bread, but you, if you give him a sandwich, you got to chop off the the crust and stuff like that. But then you know, when he got this stuff, when he got, uh, yesterday when we had you saw the video, you just didn't see the ending of it because I had two little ones that was out view a camera jumping up and down like they couldn't wait to get some like a bunch of little wild puppies and everything. So I see I had to grab mine to get mine's in, but you know. The, the stuff that, that goes into it, and especially, I got a video, and uh, this is what y'all don't know. I, I, I don't know if I can play it. Um, should I play it? Let me know, Cuzzo, in the comments if I should play that video, the audio of us right now, just talking, because I caught an audio, you know, um, and he was explaining to me the love that goes into the sandwiches, you know, everything, and his, how he found his niche, you know, and he enjoys it. Yeah, Steve, you got a Cuzzo, you listen. I'm not lying to y'all. Get with him. Get the sandwich, and it's gonna be. It's one. Of, it's a. It's a treat. It's like one of them type of things where you know. So I'll shout out to all the people that do food reviews. Shout out to Fox Twenty Nine. I put y'all on the hashtag. Hopefully somebody uh, shares that video and gets it to them, so they can get it. You know, somebody got it. You know, we got to get this. Blow this thing up nationally. We all support our own. You know, local stuff. Um, he been doing this for years. You know. Um, again. The, the thing about it is, it's not like somebody's 
you know, you go and then a week later, or you could tell somebody different persons in the kitchen. You know what I mean? You ever been to an establishment? You could tell, you know, or your local little spots that we normally go to. You know, I got a breakfast spot down on my way where there was a lady that used to work there. She was she did the breakfast sandwiches and she made the. You know, remember we used to go to your corner store and go get your little breakfast sandwich before you go to work. Well, you go get a bacon, egg, and cheese here, and she put it on the, on the rye. Excuse me, she put it on the rye, but the wet and salt, pepper, oregano, and. She's no longer there. Um, she, she got a better job, but just an example is that you can tell when there's a different cook on the grill. But with the, with the way that everything comes to you, it comes to uniform every single solitary time. The flavor, the caramelized onions, everything that goes into it, the seasoning. And same thing with the sandwiches. You're going to notice every time you order. And here's the cool thing. If you don't order this week and you ain't ordered one for, for you know, a while. He's been in this, he's been in this. Or I know, I remember like over 10 years now. And they're going to be there. You know, but when you go to taste it, it's going to taste the same. It's going to bring back memories. You know, this is a, this is also for, for fellas that, you know, and you know, a lot of guys is, is into fitness now. And you meet a lot of girls. That's a perfect type of thing for you pop one of them sandwiches, like, a little, you know, a little lunch thing. And y'all go sit somewhere and y'all snack on that. Or you feed it to her. If you married or got your girl or whatever, feed it to her. Let her bite that with the onions coming off. And you can dab her mouth. And clean her face and everything. It's a little cute little moment for y'all. You know what I mean? Something that, you know what I mean, you could last forever. What I'm trying to tell you is that you got to get, you know, get with my cuz. The reason I'm jumping on this subject because it's fresh on my mind. You know, um, just like the last two days, just how things uh, um, happen so quick. He calls me the other day, you know, I got you. I want you to try this sandwich. Try this sandwich. Now, now I'm hooked back again. I'm trying to trim down, so every time I, even though it's healthy and stuff like that, but just for me personally, um, because I, I'm I'm trying to get myself to on an adjustment to what I'm putting in my body and things of that matter. That's a good. That's a so I just have to substitute with that because um that's that that's that's, that's coming home, um, but you know um, fitness. Oh, it's, this stuff has been on my mind. So he called me and he hits me again the next day. Yo, we got the chicken cheese steak thing. That's the part that's like he was explaining how. He's always evolving in his mind. Let me see. Sabrine, what's up, Sabrine? How you doing, cousin? Um, did you, cuzzo, did you tell me um, to okay to play the play the audio? I, I, you know, I got it on the drone. Shout out to uh, to Yam Meech. He had me out today getting a little experience um, doing some stuff for the wedding. You know, taking some videos and some photos and stuff like that. The hands-on stuff. That's how I learn. I learn better like that. Oh, okay. He said yes. So let me unlock. Let me unlock this. Uh, this monster phone. Let me see. Uh, where is it at? To bear with me. I don't want no. Try not to. What they say? Dead air gallery. There it is. Okay, that's today. And this has got to be it right here. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. This is, I don't even know where microphone I'm working off of. I'm just, I'm just free flowing. So I'm gonna put this close as I can to this computer and, you know, let me know if y'all can hear it and give me, give me a thumbs up. But just, this is just the conversation that, that, that me and Cuz was having. Check this out. Man, it's a, it's a, it's a, a blessing. It's a gift that God gave to me. Give me a thumbs up if you can hear it. Man, that's my twist. And when it comes to these veggie sandwiches, bro, ain't nobody touch them. Nope, I'm, I'm not, listen, not, not. hands down. <laughs> like I said in the video, when it comes to this, when you go somewhere out to dinner, or you go to, yeah, just, not even just Olive Garden, you know, high, wherever you go, to, um, um, can, can, you, can, any, can anybody, can anybody hear? Can you hear when you this? you go to these restaurants or these establishments, and you go for their signature I'm going to pause dish. it real quick. I'm going to pause it until somebody tell me that, that they can hear this. If you can hear the video, let me know, and I'll, I'll start it back up. But I don't want to play it, then I have to restart it if y'all not listening. Uh, I just saw something. There, oh, 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 okay, okay, let's get it. Let's go. Signage, every time, no matter how many times I have the black bean burger, and it's not every weekend because it's you know it's so good, and I can't afford it every weekend. But I know when I need it and it's something really good, I go grab it. It's always the same delicious flavor. It doesn't change. It's uniform. It's the same caramelized onions. It's the same bread.
bread, it's the same, everything, top to bottom. And like my wife said, you can tell this is not something you buy out of a store or somebody's redoing it. That's made by hands. That's made with love. You can see the grill marks, everything. And then now you came out with this oxtail cheesesteak? Hazzo. Hazzo. Yo, let me tell you something, bro. I come up with all kinds of ideas when it comes to these sandwiches, these veggie sandwiches. It's a, it's a, it's a treat to me to see that people like, you know, I like to see people smile and say, I can't believe that's not me. I, I'm, yo, I'm sitting here saying to myself still, like, this, I'm, I'm trying to think, because I tried my wife, like I said, my wife is a vegetarian, I know vegan is a little bit different, but when I met her, she was on that kick. So we, I tried like the, the morning star stuff and all that stuff in the beginning, the bacon and the black bean burgers. And I so I, I, I liked it back then. So I'm like, okay, I could, I could stomach this. But every time, you know, you go out and you try stuff every now and then, it never tasted like what y'all doing. It's not like that. That's why I said, I'm guaranteeing people, you never tasted. If you say you had a good black bean burger, you never had this. Because if you if you did say you had one, and you you lying because you never tasted this. And that's a fact. And now we taste this oxtail. Oh my God. You know what, guys? Let me tell you something crazy. My man used to go around, you know, rest in peace, Dr. Dude. He used to go around from Delaware all the way to Chester, all the way to South Beach, Florida, and take my sandwiches, right? Yeah. And he used to get mad. If I called it a black bean burger, he'd say, Jim, well, you don't know how serious the, the sandwich is. This is the world. Famous black bean burger. He said, "Never, never play it down and call it a black bean burger because it's nothing like a black bean burger." And after that, I started calling it the world famous black bean burger. I apologize. I apologize. No, 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 no. You good? It's the world famous. It is. World famous. It's the world famous black bean burger. Get it right. 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 Get it right.
bring it to your boss. Mm -hmm. A lot of people is in the offices mm -hmm. looking for this type of stuff to eat on the weekends. People that like myself that are working out, especially all to my, my workout community, my, my over my over fifty plus people that's out there getting it in, over fifty, in, changing their lifestyle. Over fifty, let's get it in. Let's get it in. Get it in, everybody. Y'all have a good day. Let me tell you something. Congratulations, like I said, you're doing good with your thing too, man. I appreciate I it. I, I, I'm proud of you with your podcast. I appreciate you know, it. I'm gonna support you. I'm glad to see you doing your thing, man. Do your thing, Sean. That's and, your, and, your, and your gym ethics are, you know, you can't can't nobody touch you with that. Cause like I said, boy, if I ain't know no better, I'm like, boy, how the hell you get fit like that? It's like overnight you go from one stage, yeah. you like from some mutant type shit. Uh, yeah. None of this is real. A lot of us ain't. We, should, we share the same DNA, Not real. brother. We Not built real. different. I, it's a fact. I, I, we can get into that on something else. But it was um one other thing that I wanted to touch and to let everybody know. Y'all don't. What I'm what I'm going to bring to y'all is these scents. We got a we got we going to do a channel for all the fresh scents. Everybody. This is my stuff. He got the real stuff. I got to do scent bird. I can't. I can't afford the real, real, real stuff. I mean, it's, you know, bond number nine. This one's um, 212 Sexy by, uh, uh, what is it? Uh, uh, Herrera. Carolina Herrera. This one. Um, but he got all, all the stuff. All the stuff. The real, the real deal. That they were like the three, four hundred dollar, uh, five thousand. Yeah. Back to this. I like to put them on and walk in that club and you smell and you leave that trail with that, with that memory and that woman's like, who was that that walked past me and smelled like this? I got the man on the phone. I lied to you, not my right hand of God. The man, he's going to come to you with all the fresh scents. He got thousands. That, when I'm telling you all thousands, I've seen the inventory. Thousands. Yeah, the man knows what he's talking about. We're going to get We're going we gonna to get that to y'all real soon. And with that, I'm going to end this because he's busy. I'm about to uh, keep, you know, letting the people know what, what's good. And I'm going to holler at you because, again, thank you so very much for joining me today, just for calling me back. Thank you for putting me on and thinking of me today. The sandwich was a hit. My wife was thinking of something. Yeah. That was that was, that was was our, our quick conversation. But we talk like that all the time because it's always love. You know, I always, he's always motivated me. He's always been the one every time we turn around. Like, be back in the day, that was Jimmy Flicks. A lot of y'all don't. A lot of y'all don't know. I'm going to put y'all on to something real quick, too. You know, we, not the fact that we grew up together. But, um, again, now that a lot of y'all starting to know that, um, you know, I, I had to go away for a little bit many years ago. Many, many, many fucking years ago. Um, when I came, when I touched back down, that's who got me into all this stuff. Like, um, Cuzzle came because I came home. You know, I had my weight up. My cousin was like, yo, I need, I need some protection for... Um, for my uh, for the girls for doing the photo shoot because he used to have the girls at the club, the bar, the you know the uh, the bottle girls and all that. So I got in that way and started working with him doing that. Then I started the club owner got me in that way and then things started spiraling and I started knowing you know about the entertainment industry. You know my boy already started heavyweight entertainment. Shout out to Eddie Fats. You know also shout out to Sasha P. I haven't seen you in a long time, but we know we follow you on Facebook, little sis. I, I was on. My, my TikTok yesterday, and all of a sudden the song pops up. I'm like, I see you still working. This is your year. Trust me. This is that that you know a lot of this stuff. I've always been a fan, but you know, you know, um, there is one person out there that um, I wish that years ago I bumped into this young lady I used to work with. Her name was Brittany. Brittany, if you ever see this or anybody that knows her, when we was up at track in the motor, you can sing. That song, Cypher, she had a song from, you know, that she produced and wrote, and a lot of her stuff, um, I, I still, I'm a still believer in her, and I understand that, you know, people grow up and they do different things, you know what I mean, but if you ever, if you see this, you gotta drop that, you gotta drop that, I still play that in, in the background of my music on some of my shows and stuff like that, but not all, I'm not, all, not the whole thing, because that's copyright infringement, and you ain't gonna get me, I know it's less than a, a minute 20, so... I don't, I don't do that, um, but I can, I can, I can start. You know what I mean? People out there, artists or whatever. As I start going live, you know, you give me permission, I'll play your stuff on the show. You know, live on here when we jump on here. You want to start? You know, hit me up on my DM. You know, you know what it is. Listen, 
It, I, I'm here for everybody, man. We all can get this together. I started the platform. I got people calling me. Listen, this is the, this is what's going on with me. You know, I'm in the backgrounds. I'm learning how to trick the algorithms. It was not a trick. It's, it's, it's a, a real method. But you got to pay into this. So I invested into it. And I'm learning step by step how to get money on YouTube, how to trick their algorithms, how to get your video seen, because they just don't play anybody's videos. So if you see my videos or some even my other channels that I have going on, I'm getting awards and stuff, you know, mail, I'm popping up talking about you, 400 views yesterday on the video you just posted because it's a trick to it. I can teach you. We can go over that. I got to find a way to get this. Well, once I'm finished my program, I'm going to put something together to where I'm going to make it accessible to you guys. Um, and they even say it in the program, you know, something you want to pass on to your friends or whatever, things of that matter. But I know a lot of y'all out there want to do this. It's not that hard. You know, I'm learning how to do it on a budget. Um, not like a tiny, tiny budget, but on, you know, compared to some people on a greater scale when they have, but I, I'm networking. I'm, I have people on the team that actually have things, you know, cameras, you know, uh, um, cameraman Felton, shout out to Felton. He knows his stuff. Shout out to Trashman. I met you tonight, brother. I hope, I pray that we can do some work together. Um, shout out to Yamich. From, <coughs> Yamich. Yamich. Um, for, for, in, for introducing me, setting that up. That was a strong move. You know, it was a beautiful wedding that I had a chance to attend. You know, and see, see what's going over at the Riverwind. It was beautiful. I never knew the place, you know, looked like that. Like, that was some really nice stuff. Shout out to that, that, that lovely couple. Welcome to this, to the husband. This is what was told to me. I'm saying this to you, to the man that just got married. Welcome to the club, dummy. <laughs> hey, man, it is what it is. I'm, I'm 15, 16 years in strong. You know, um, I got a big back. So, you know, they, they, you know, it's an old Bob Marley saying, you know, um, about um, nobody's perfect. But you just got to find the one that's worth all the pain that you're going to go through. You know, that's, that's love. That's real love. Nothing's going to be perfect. Y'all always going to, you know, have your little tits and tats, especially the way that the world is. And especially, you know, being together in, in this social media stage and age with stuff where people are thinking soon, you know, if somebody got a new phone and you don't, you turned off your notification or notifications turned on and it sounds like somebody's texting you rolling over. Because I did that to my wife plenty of times and I got slapped upside the head for it. Looking like a dummy. Oh, who's texting you in the middle of the night? Two o'clock in the morning. Ding, 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 ding. That was all a new business that she was in. You know, never turned off the notifications. So all this, everybody's working from all over the world. And, you know, she get text messages all night. So I apologize for that. But I know y'all been through that same kind of thing. Are you talking about, oh, who's texting you in the middle of the night? It's a notification. So it's hard in, in, in life right now. And the way that things are going on in this world. So, you know, give, you know, whoever you with, you got to give, give them a shot, man. Give them a, a real, real shot. But also my advice to a lot of young people, make sure before you get into everything that y'all sit down and talk. It ain't about followers. It ain't about, you know, how sexy she is. Yeah, you. first of all, this is a human thing. When you first meet somebody, first see somebody, you could be walking down the street. If you see them, you'll know if you're attracted to that person in the first 15 seconds. That's not saying that you're going to do anything, but that's just letting you know, just a human instinct. You'll see somebody, okay, there, whatever. But before y'all get into all that other stuff, when you go on, you know, your, your conversation, put your phones down. Don't go out to dinner and start being on your phones. Put your phones to the side. You know, set time aside. If y'all going to go out to dinner, make sure y'all sitting there talking to one another, looking each other in the eye. You know, I'm still working on that as a 50-year-old man. It's just, be, you know, I'm all over the place a lot of times with stuff. But, you know, relationships are, 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 are work. Listen to your partner. They'll, she's going to say something to you, and he's going to let you know, you know what I mean, what's bothering him. Here's the thing. Sometimes you women... Sometimes y'all think when a man's coming to you, they talk about the issue. He don't. A lot of times we don't bring stuff up because we just handle our business and we go about our daily activities without even being told. But he may come to you and, and say something. You be like, and no, don't ever say that. Oh, you bitching or whatever. That's not cool because all that is is a man trying to explain to you. Here's the issue. Let's fix this and let's get past this and move on. But if you don't pay attention and you just act like it's, it's you know not an issue, it's always going to uh, rear its head. So handle your BIs. I got to say to people, you know, I handle my business. I'm teaching my kids, you know, handle your BI first before you do anything. Then you can do everything else. BI is business. Handle your business first. So everything else will come secondary. But in the relationship world, that whole talk, just sit there and you talk. Ask, ask them about what they like. Well, if they trying to be, you know, if you're thinking about, you know, in your mind, you want to be married. Is this person marriage material? Do you look at him as a husband? 
you know, there is no switch that you click on and automatically because you say I do, now you're a wife like that. You become a wife. You are, you are either growing up and turning your life to want to be a wife when in your life and then you become a wife, but you just don't turn into one overnight. And it's the same thing for a husband. You know, the, the, the hardest thing for me growing up without a father is I really didn't see, you know, till later on, well, not growing up without a father. I got you. Y'all know I got a, a story to tell you on that, but consistency in a marriage and seeing a mother and father, you know, have, you know, all that. I didn't have that at first. You know, it's a little bit, of, you know, a blink of an eye, but I've seen it through others. But not having, you know, that you don't know how to be a husband if you never saw it. And a lot of us out in the streets, a lot of young men, they don't, they didn't have a father, and they don't know how to be a father. They don't know how to be a husband. So don't be mad at them. But if you want to give that person a chance, understand y'all going to go through stuff together. Y'all going to go through bumps and bruises together. But nobody's coming into it. And, and if you are a young lady that your mother or somebody or you raised and you know to be a housewife, because it's different being a housewife than just being married. That's two totally different things. You know, it's, 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 you have to understand it's, um, it's titles and then there's responsibilities that come with these titles. When you're a husband, you're this, this, and this, and that. You know, when you're a wife, you're this, 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 and that. There is no because the song came out on the radio this year. Remember back in the day when I saw on Last Get Married with, with whatever the group was, and everybody popped up, and everybody's in getting married, walking down the aisle. I wonder how many of those marriages are still together. There's a couple, you know, but just don't rush in stuff, you know what I mean, especially when you don't know somebody. And then if somebody, my advice, um, if somebody's more worried, I've seen a lot of videos online where women are snapping on a man, they talking about the price of their wedding. There's one famous one where the guy was talking to the girl, I want $200,000 wedding and blah, 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 and all this other crazy stuff. And I'm like, and the man's providing all this other stuff. You know, if a person is more concerned about the wedding than they are the marriage, don't get married. You know, there's a whole saying um, that, you know, sometimes a woman will want the marriage. She want the wedding more than the marriage. The wedding is that night when it's all about her and having that fun. But then the next day the marriage starts. And some people just want the wedding and they don't want the marriage. And you need to talk about that. And you need to, before you sign all that, start spending all that money, make sure that's something that you want. You know what I mean? Get to know a person even more. Ask those kind of questions. It's not going to be wrong. You know, um, little signs. I'm going to keep giving out signs. I, I got a lot of stuff I've been through. I've seen, you know, spoke a lot of people. But again, um, where I was coming from, I couldn't talk about a lot of things. Working in the corporate world, you know, you don't, you, you, you're worried about if something gets back and your boss, somebody may, somebody may not like you. The next thing you know, you lose your job and somebody lied to your boss. So, you know, it's a difference being your own boss. So you say what you want to say. So we at this point, I got, I got a lot of stuff that I'm going to give, you know, give game to y'all coming to you, you know, in the upcoming future. You know, but again, this was a nice little test. Um, I was almost an hour, y'all. Thank you for hanging with me again. You have no idea how this helps out on my algorithm. Oh, before I go, shout out to um to Paulie with the box and everything. And I see you, Jason. About to go down and do your thing December 2nd. I'm going to be there. I'm going to be, you know, my camera on. I'm going to be cheering. You know, everybody going down. Um, shout out to, uh, to Derek Webster. That's my man. He got a fight coming up also. Everybody support him. Go to his page. Follow him. Buy y'all tickets. Make sure y'all go support everybody. You know, again... I'm, I love for the fact that y'all just hanging out with me, you know, and I, I'm getting used to this. The more and more I do this, the more and more I get used to telling my stories, but we're going to have to, as I'm in the process of transferring all my stuff over. See, this page is, you know, to interact with y'all because I get to do certain things on here that I can't do on YouTube. Y'all understand all about that. I mean, Facebook. Um, no, I'm on Facebook, can't do on YouTube yet. But I'm transferring all my other stuff over uh, on the Scram Two Five. Don't question my stupidity. I want y'all to don't forget like and subscribe. Go to that page. So a lot of this stuff is like this is the beginning of the talk. I can get into the other talk on the other page. I can. I got stuff that I'm ready to put out. You know, I just want to know if you know. See if y'all want to really hear some of the things. Give me some ideas and stuff. I'm an open book. You know, ask many questions. I got a story coming out. A lot of y'all that I went to school with. I'm glad I'm on the Facebook page. Um, a lot of y'all went to school when I was there. I remember, I guess for y'all, it was you saw me one day, I was there, and the next day I was gone. And I know y'all were like, well, what the hell happened to Crest? Or excuse me, or Scrams, or whatever you want to, you know, 
y'all know who I am. Um, and I, I, um, that that's another story. And um, it's a funny story, you know, but not, eh, not funny, maybe. The beginning of everything, shall we say. Um, but stuff like that. I, I, um, my parents had divorced, and I had to go back to Camden. They found out I didn't live in Pensacola anymore. School went, school work went to the house, got sent back to the school. School got mail. I got a message to come to Mr. Taylor's office. A lady in the front asked me, where you live at? You know, what's your address? I didn't know what to say, I, you know. Boom, bada, bing, I was going. I was shipped up out of there real quick. Bing, bada, boom. But, you know, wait till I tell you what happened when I went to the high. But it was funny because when, um, when I was in Camden before I came over to Pensalkin, when I came to Pensalkin, I was it was fifth, fifth grade on. So, but every when seventh grade, y'all know I got left back in the seventh. I don't care. Seventh grade on when I got left back. So everybody when I went back to Camden at the time as a junior were then were now seniors. So um, you know, I had to do my time in the seventh grade. It's, that was that was the worst. That was the worst. Like. I was going through something. I failed every marking period with an F. Flags all across the board. Every mark. I was just rebelling. I was going through something. That whole, you know, that's how marriages can affect children at times, you know. Um, I was just going through something. And I never, I used to mess with the sixth grader. Because remember back when we was going to school, sixth graders were little. They looked like little kids. Now they don't. Everybody looks like they driving at sixth, sixth grade. Um, but... Dixie, you know, they all my friends. But then, I, but I grew to love y'all. I grew to love y'all. So everybody that, you know, I was to finish out school with, um, when y'all was in the younger grades, you know, I was older. And um, I welcome you guys. Well, y'all know, you know what? Y'all welcome me with open arms. So I appreciate it. Y'all didn't rankle me because I was 100 years older than y'all. You know, <laughs> but it was fun. You know, I got many memories. You know, would be, you know what's, what the next talk I should have? And drop a heart, drop a comment or whatever on this. I'm going to tell everybody, let's all jump on here and talk about the biggest food fight in Pensacola Middle School history. When the tables dropped at a certain time, it was like high noon. Doo -doo -doo -doo. It got quiet. Boom, the tables dropped. And y'all know the rest is history. We got to talk about that because we all got suspended. Everybody that was in the, in the auditorium, it was people that was good kids that they got caught up in a bad situation. I'll never forget how little, the little teeny sixth grader was looking through the window. And I remember um, the teacher, um, one of the teachers, and I'm going to name it in, in, in the drawing, you kicked me in my ass when I was under the table hiding. I'm, I'm going to put your name out there. I ain't mad at you because it's just that you rented space in my mind every year of my life since I knew the story. So I'm going to put you out there. Hopefully I get it out of my mind. But it's all love. You know what I mean? You, you was a good dude, good teacher. You was I remember for when you was a substitute and you be, um, you became a permanent teacher. And then I don't know if you was a gym teacher, whatever sports now. You're probably still around. I want to know if, if that big old uh, the athletic dude that 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 he was muscular as hell. He was he was like the athletic uh, dude for the for the sports that taped you up and everything. I remember when he was so apparently he probably was maybe only 23 when he came in, but he was jacked. I remember that dude like the back of my head. I wonder if he's still there. Shout out to him if he's still there. I can't remember a lot of people's names. I'm I'm old. I've been through it. You know, I played a little semi-pro football. I took a lot of hits, a lot of back. Um, but yeah, we're going I'm gonna end it on this tonight. Cause again, as you see, I can talk. I love y'all. Like and subscribe on my Facebook. I mean my YouTube channel. Don't question my stupidity. I'm gonna get better at this. I'm gonna keep loving y'all. I'm gonna keep seeing y'all. Don't forget, don't question my stupidity, because I know what I'm doing. Y'all just don't know what I'm doing. And with that. We out. Peace.